and the poor get poorer and the rich get richer. Meanwhile, a man who grew tired of receiving letters from TV license enforcers, even though he does not own a television set, has been awarded almost £150 after taking the organisation to court. There you are, you see, a little uh, chink of good news. The TV license enforcers. No! <laughs> the man from Northampton, who only wanted to be identified as Phil, claimed that he had endured more than a decade of threats and fines, court action and prison from TV licensing, which runs license enforcement on behalf of the BBC. Even though he has not had a television for 15 years, oh mate, the stuff you've missed! He decided to uh, bill TV licensing for his time. And he took it to the county court when it refused to pay. No, brilliant. The amount of times that, uh, I mean, honestly, uh, you've, um, you know, I just got uh, uh, the, uh, the telephone squirted up my new house. And they uh, gave me these list of charges that they um, insisted that they would charge me if I did not to follow their rules down to the letter. They said, we're going to send somebody over on um, uh, the Monday uh, uh, between, well, you, you know what they say, between uh, the hours of 8 in the morning and midnight. Something like that. Uh, I'm sorry, that's as specific as we can be. But if you, do, if you are not there when that person arrives, then we will fine you £60. And if you are there, but he, um, if there's stairs involved, then we'll fine you £30. And if you're there and it's, like, it's a slightly moist uh, conditions outside, then uh, you'll, you'll, you will want a fiver. You know, it's just on and on and on they went. But how many times has uh, an organisation like that said that they will show up and then they haven't? And do you get to fine them? No, of course not. So this tiny bit of good news uh, we can uh, take on board for all of us. He hasn't had a TV for 15 years, and he got uh, threats of uh, everything up, and up, up to and including beheading. And then he took them to court for wasting his time, and he won. He received 149... <laughs> 100... Well, this is silly. He received 149 pounds and three pence. What? <laughs> How? Uh, well, the three pence? Why not 150 quid? He said, for more than 11 years, I've been a victim of TV licensing's demands that I make contact with them to help them update their records. I'm expected to carry out this monthly update service in my own time and at my own expense. He responded to a TV licensing request for an update in 2012 by explaining that he did not need a license and warned the company that he would charge it processing fees if he received any more letters or phone calls or visits. And when it refused to pay his bill, he filed the claim with the county court in September. Excellent news. Well done, Phil, whoever you are. You have my full support, for which I will be billing you shortly. Oh three four five six oh six oh nine seven three.